So mussels and fries. I love to eat it, I love to cook it. I'm gonna riff on the classic theme. I'm gonna make mussels steamed with red curry broth and french fries with a lime and black pepper mayonnaise. How are your little triceps doing there, buddy? You're just pushing the... Oh, there he goes. Put all 112 pounds behind it, Bobby. You could do it. Ooh, this one's stubborn. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the potatoes and get them soaked in some ice water to get rid of some of the starch. Bobby, what kind of sauce are you gonna do? Red curry. Oh, hey. Look, he was listening to Joe. Read your mind. I'm gonna start with some shallots, garlic. Then I add the red curry paste. I'm gonna toast all of these aromatics to really bring out the flavors of the red curry. Then I add some white wine, and then I add some coconut milk, which I think balances out, you know, the strong flavors of that red curry. Mr. Flay. What's up, kid? You doing good? I'm hanging in there. Hey, get in there. What, what do you got going in the broth? Ginger, shallots, garlic, red curry paste, white wine, and coconut milk. Mm -hmm. I have some lime leaves in there as well. Bobby's broth has got a good amount of spice to it. Coconut milk, lime juice, garlic, and Ruth is going classic, delicious no frites. Obviously, Bobby's great with outside the box, but I would tend to uh, favor the traditional style. Feel what you feel. Get, get away from Here, me. wait, come on. Give me, let me see what you got. Show me what you got. No, come on. Get behind it. Just, get away from the, 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 you know, just maybe a boom, boom. Like, little arm drag, get in there. Come on, get all Mmm, like... that's delicious. Not salty enough, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's gonna get there. So the classic way to cook French fries is to cook them twice. First you soak them, get the starch out, and then you blanch them in lower temperature oil so that they cook through, but they don't get crisp. All right, good luck, Bobby. You're gonna need it. <laughs> so the mussels go into the Dutch oven. I cover it with the broth, just steam them open, let the uh, juices from the mussels marry with the broth, and then I cover the pot, get it going. So the mayonnaise is being flavored with lots of lime zest and some lime juice. If you're gonna serve fries with mayonnaise, it needs big flavor. <laughs> the mussels are done, and now I'm gonna cook the french fries for a second time. Coming up on one minute. I put the mussels into the bowl, and I pour the broth over it, and then put a little bit of the lime black pepper mayonnaise in a bowl, and put the fries on top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, that's it! Good job. I'm taking the risk by really bringing a lot of flavor to these mussels. 